It's time for our tea, Mr. Farner. In a minute, sweetheart. You know, all professional singers need to take care of their voices, and that's why each day I drink hot tea with honey. I mean, try singing foot stomping music without a sip of hot tea. Um, okay. I'm Mark Farner, formerly of Grand Funk Railroad. I'm the original lead singer, lead guitar, and songwriter of more than 90% of the Grand Funk Railroad catalog. As many of you know, back in the 60s, I started this power trio. And today, I have fans that span three generations. I've been asked to read a few fan letters on the camera. So let's see what you want to know. The first one, Mark, is it true that you got into music primarily because everyone knows girls like guys who play guitar? What? Girls? No! There was nothing more important to me than making the best music possible. Music with great grooves and important messages. Let's take another letter. This one says, Mark, is it true that in the 70s you sold out massive Shea Stadium in New York faster than the Beatles? Yes, it's true. In fact, that whole stadium was rocking physically. They eventually had to tear the place down. There was too much damage inflicted. Let's take another one. Mark, what was the motivation behind your music and how do you come up with your songs? I've always been concerned about putting together music that tells a story and is timely. I don't want no shallow music without rock and roll soul. Music with integrity that stands the test of time is most important to me. My songs have to have purpose. I write songs about stopping the war, conservation, and saving our planet. As to how I write my songs, I search for a groove or a beat that draws me in. Once I find that groove, I'm on my way down a wonderful trail with a song at the end of it. Let's take one more letter. This one asks, Mark, would you ever consider doing something else in life? Something else? No music? No way! Once you feel that beat, you can never stop. You can't stop. Hey, my brothers.
stop Till your lover needs you Thank you, darling. Like I said, it's about the music. Always has been. <laughs>